Hello, it's Wendy and welcome to this week's vlog. <gasps> you ready? Shall I let her go? Ready. Go. Get it! <laughs> She's exhausted. <laughs> Let her get it. <laughs> get it. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Oh, but it's not here. Bunty, Bunty, what's this? Get it. He's not letting me. <laughs> Good to see some amphibians. Certainly not as common as they were around here. Or anywhere around here really nowadays. There's some. Maybe we've still got time for them to, for there to be some more. It, but it's certainly not choked up with toads. That's certainly a couple of decades or three or four decades ago now it would have been. We've got a greater water boatman here species of bug as in it has piercing mouth parts and it preys mostly on insects falling onto the surface but also tadpoles and other things it can catch and as many a small child will know if you grab a greater water boatman in your hands it will bite you with its piercing mouth parts and it feels like a darn good sting and you will release it <laughs> oh, I've got a whirly gig over there Whirly gig beetles, they're fantastic. And there's a pair of toes diving to down. A lovely pond for these amphibians. Oh, so oh that's good. Lots of toads paired up, getting ready to lay their strings of toad spawn. Looks nice this pond at the moment because the weeds are all died off for winter, they're submerged, so there's quite a lot of water surface, but it's actually um, marsh ranunculus, marsh buttercup. And it does tend to choke up this pond most of it through the summer. We've got a deep bit here. It did used to have some carp in it, whether it has now, I'm not sure. Someone probably had them out. But no grass snakes are selling themselves on the banks as yet.
what the heck? Is it the Tortoise Express? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody will moan about this. <laughs> yeah. It's just so much easier, isn't it? Anyway, it's too cold out here. Now the sun's gone in. So you're putting them back in the pen. Oh. Wheeling them round. Nice to see them out again. Tell me what's going on, Dad. Not a lot. <laughs> so, Ooh, it's bubbling. we found the top half of the original stone fountain because it had a plastic sort of spray thing. Um, but what I haven't found is a piece of pipe work that fits, that runs out the top. And my mackling up attempt has resulted in not a lot going on. Well, not a lot of fountain going on anyway. Ooh. Not entirely sure if this is the correct health and safety. <laughs> Let's see, can I just hand that to you a second? <laughs> I'm feeling you've been framed by when coming on. Oh Christ. things you need in life. One is black tape of any variety, another is cable ties and as you get older and you have children or animals you'll find out as bad for the environment as they are, wet wipes. There's my three tip things that you must have. Let's see how we go on. Then we're going to go to the big pond. Can you, just you look like a frog. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I literally haven't got enough hands to do it in six <laughs> You're going to go in the water. I'm not really helping, I'm just watching. <laughs> Back in then. Oh, I guess so. Use that core strength. I don't think it's to attach. Can you turn it off, please? I don't think yeah. it's attached now. I think the plastic the pipe's all the way inside. <laughs> turn it off and pass me the next bit, please. Oh. <laughs> Turn it on again just to test it. Yay! Turn it off again, please. <laughs> Pass me the knife, please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
mate. <laughs> I know what I need to do to modify here, but I've got to take it a bit scan. Stop it! <laughs> I have to, because if I don't, I know you'll go in. <laughs> Oh wow. He survived. Getting two keys. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. So you see adventure programs where people light a fire to keep wild animals at bay. Jackie's having a little burn up here. And Marina's come for some entertainment. Or maybe she just likes her food warm. Look at that. All I think is steak. I was criticising Jackie's paintwork, just okay. keeping an eye on things like a good foreman. Well, You've missed you a bit. On my nerves. You've missed a bit. <laughs> oh, if you look at those lambs having a drink, oh, they're, so thirsty. <sighs> <sighs> they're only having a drink because us two muppets. <laughs> which now can't breathe from the exertion. <laughs> <sighs> They've had to catch her off the road and roll her over the fence <laughs> because the gateway's miles away. God knows where she's got out from. But I don't think I've caught a sheep since I was 15 years old, so it's a bit of a wrestle. <laughs> but oh, look, look at them, so thirsty so lambs good. and a happy mum. <laughs> There's so many brambles grabbing me. So the local woodland pond, this time last year it was the start of lockdown number one and it was the drought started we didn't really have any rain and this pond struggled last year this year it's full at the moment it's springtime just coming up for april and we've got lots of common newts and a reasonable number of common toads in here not as many as they used to be but it's great to see them back in spawning the common newt males are caught in the females and we'll show you some of that footage in a second the toads are in amplexus and they're breeding not that many of them but there's some so hopefully it will hold some water all through the summer and give their offspring time to metamorphose and leave the water. We've had a look around the woodland, we've found some nice frogs in another pond. No common lizards today, but it's half term at the um, Easter holidays for the kids, and there's too many people here and too many dogs, and I think they've pushed the lizards off the, the usual basket spaces, which are near the footpath, because that's where the sun reaches the woodland. Check out the rest of the vlog.
what an outdoor enclosure is all about. That first sunny weather of spring and seeing these beautiful creatures lapping up the sunshine. How lovely. It's our big male slow worm. Nice to see someone out. The only one out at the moment though. But I've only just got here so who knows what's been out today. Certainly plenty of wild stuff out in the woods today. We've seen all sorts. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Subscribe. See you soon.